So the next poet is Zainab Shima. Wow, that's awkward. I have to follow that. Okay, that's fine. Um, so this is the story of an elderly male patient, and it's called Dementia. Salty memories, turning hair white as snow, calloused knuckles on calloused hands, emblems of small victories that were once had, the iron chests where light fingers tread, Heart strings tied to feelings and kiss quickened heartbeats. Mischievous plannings and unforeseen mishappenings. Gold plated memories lost on the winds of the past. Time, she travels fast. Broken with lines is my aging face, and in my tormented mind, there is no grace. In the moments when I can't remember my own son's name, my address, my home, or my favorite place, cortical atrophy, that's why they laugh at me. Unable to feed, dress, or walk, I barely do anything at all. But some days, some days she comes to me, that mistress called memory, and she whispers moments into my mind, feelings to which I am now mostly blind. Rewind the tape, and the moment plays the happiest day of my life as I looked upon her, my wife, holding the small boy that would be my life's pride, the reason for my hard work, my every stride. And I laughed, and I cried, and I hoped and I watched as the years slipped by and time turned and edged forward and I aged and crippled before her and the man, the boy became the man, the man gained a mortgage and the wife, dreams of his own and his very own life. And they left me because they couldn't bear me. Barely human. Broken dreams and fractured memories hid beneath the veneer of senility. I am father and husband only sometimes anymore. If you look into my eyes, you may see what I adored. Family, home, peace. But I'm barely human anymore, thanks.